<laughs> so I'm here with my uncle, Dr. Herman Yuri. Who are you talking to? Oh, I'm, I'm recording this, and he's cooking for me. Ah, uh, yes. And it's seasoned with love. I tell you, yes, he can cook, Lord. he can sing, he looks so good. <laughs> well, what are we making, Uncle Look, Herman? Oh, yeah. Let's see. We have mm, pork mm, chops mm. that were seasoned, you know, initially. And then what I do is I put uh, stewed tomatoes in it. Well, first what I put it, I put a, a third of a bottle of white wine in it. Mm, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I, I, I cut up, you know, the stewed tomatoes come in the kind of round, I mean, half cut in, in uh -huh. so I, I chop them up. And okay. then I put in uh, garlic, uh -huh. uh, basil, mm -hmm. parsley, and tarragon. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. just now, I'm just, just so I'm going to let it just sit here and, and simmer for about 40 minutes and then, mm. then we'll serve it over noodles. Isn't that lovely? Well, thank you so much. You're quite welcome. And I don't, does it have a name? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I, Let me... I just know that Kelly loves it because when she comes in, she smells the wine and tomatoes. She's going to eat it. <laughs> this is one of her favorites. <laughs> so not any, only is it going to taste good, but we're also going to feel good after all yeah, that wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, my uncle, Dr. Herman Neary, um from Wake Forest University. He was the first African-American male to be granted full tenure and the first full professor at Wake Forest University. If you look at the history of Wake Forest University, you will see how long and how historic that is. He was also given the Emeritus Medallion, is it called? The what is that called? Medallion of Merit. Medallion of Merit, I almost got that, which is the highest award that you can receive at a university. So, and he, out of all the things that he said, he was also my biology professor, <laughs> he's cooking for me, seasoned with love. And also, some of the Wake Forest Board of Trustees now, which is nice. That's right, Board of Trustees. Trying to keep everybody honest. Yes, also, and I think you were the first director for the Director of Minority Affairs? No, I was the... Uh, we hired Larry Palmer, Dr. Larry Palmer, who was the first director. Mm -hmm. and then he left and went with the State Department. Mm -hmm. And then we were changing presidents at that time, going from, from Scales to Hearn. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want the office to be unoccupied. So then I did it for four years okay. while okay. also carrying a full teaching load. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then we, <laughs> then we hired uh, Ernie Wade, who was the next one, who really did a very, very good job at getting a lot of minority students on, on board. Oh, and so when much has been given, much will be asked of him. So he's been doing it all for quite some time. <laughs> he's still doing it. I'm here to celebrate the inaugural Trailblazer Award um, for integration of Wake Forest with the first two, two football, football players. players. Robert Grant and, and Butch Henry. Right, and so yeah. it's an exciting time. So I'll talk to you later after I eat. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> all right. <laughs>